See the sound high challenge, I still try it over here. Wow. I have a prepared speech. Chief Michael Grizzle of the Trelawney Town Flagstaff Maroons and Mrs. Grizzle. Associate Professor Dr. Ellen Campbell Grizzle, Dean and Associate Professor, College of Health Sciences, University of Technology, and members of her staff and students, Mr. Harris Carley, a company representative, Reverend Dr. Kim Ronde Cesar, Chief Research Officer, Steve Lab, and his colleague, Professor Rosalie Hamilton, Scotiabank Professor, University of Technology, and Director of Community Outreach, guests including Ms. Stephanie Ferguson, former librarian, University of the West Indies, Ms. Sonia Black, and Ms. Laura Graham from the Archives University Records, members of Flagstaff community, including the youngsters, guests, ladies, and gentlemen. Let me begin by congratulating Chief Michael Grizzle, members of this council, and other residents of Flagstaff for their kind invitation to the University of Technology to associate with this historic day, a signal for annual celebrations of the intangible heritage of our country. And we here are witnesses, we are the godparents to this christening of what the future holds. Please put your hands together. I declare I have descendant of Nanny of the Moretown Maroons, and so I just feel at home. Allow me to associate though, Mrs. Grizzle in a special way for the support she's giving to this cause and to her husband, Chief Grizzle. It is said if the man is the head of the house, the woman is the head, the neck, while the head dares not move without the neck. <laughs> the contribution of the Maroon story to the heritage of Jamaica should not go unnoticed as it points to the survival of a people who shed the shackles of slavery and prove that although Britannia ruled the waves, they could rule the bushes. <laughs> and so that survival story we share with you today. It is our story. And that story has certain tensions because the story is replete as Chief Potter, the Senate just said, is replete with accounts of brother, sister, relative, families turning against one another, with frightening evidences of betrayal on both sides. And sometimes, even those who were protected decided, as in 1734, when the British were led to perhaps the most inaccessible spot in the island, they were led to Nanny Town, which the British destroyed. So even those you were trying to protect, they deceived you. But Nanny had hope and was positive that like the man, you know, a man was, I regard that man as a positive man. The man was at a function and they told him that his house was on fire. And he said to them, nonsense. How could my house be on fire and I have the keys? <laughs> <laughs> so Nanny was very positive, not like that man. She was reluctant, as you know, to sign the treaty in a language she did not understand because according to John Weiss, the large print giveth, but the small print taketh away. <laughs> Survival, though, has taught us what today, what Chief Grizzle just said, some of us take for granted, including this good resolution. We live in peace. There's no police station in any maroon community. Communication. You know Jamaica's first cell phone, what was it? The Abbey. That's what we use to communicate. And out of that we have our maroon proverbs. Maroon proverbs say, push has ears even in a cave field. <laughs> and also in a corn field, because there are bears, ears of corn. <laughs> they also say, according to Maroon Proverb, you see man face, you must see him heart. Okay. 
But in 2003, UNESCO declared the music of Maroon as part of the intangible heritage of mankind. To that date, only 26 such other declarations have been made. You have here at Flagstaff most of the medicinal plants in Jamaica. And you will be pleased to know that last week, Thursday, Dean and Associate Professor Edwin Campbell Grissom of the College of Health Sciences of the University of Technology and their staff, they launched the Bachelor of Science in Pharmaceutical Technology degree program where they will now have people trained to be the makers of medicine in Jamaica, the first in Jamaica and the English speaking character. a research center here at Flagstaff and we will be eventually happy to tell you be supplying more medicine than, than banana. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I, I, I did not even mention vegetable as yet. More than two ounces. And so we give thanks. Today we give thanks to Nankipum, Creator God. We do not, as they say in order, to forget your worries. What you must do is to wear tight shoes. If you wear tight shoes, you forget your worries because you're concentrating on the shoes painting. But we don't have to go that. We can forget our worries because if we depend on God, we know that everything is going to be all right. Today we know that the past is history. The future is a mystery. But the present is a gift. That's why it is called a present. And we want to thank Chief Grizzle for this present. And we pray with him that this celebration will grow from strength to strength and everyone in Flagstaff will be happy. Keep on singing. Be happy. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for 